I am back. So it's later in the night, and uh, usually what I do before, like after after my shower in the night, I go in with my skincare routine, my at night skincare routine because they are different. So that's what we are gonna do right about. So, the very first thing I would do is put this away. This is turmeric soap. I use turmeric soap because uh, I'm, I'm afraid of cleansers. <laughs> That's why most cleansers break me out. So I've been using turmeric soap for the longest period of time. And the only issue that I would say is with it is sometimes it dries a little bit too much. But overall, Clean. Yeah, I don't know. It works. It works. Turmeric soap. That's what I will go in here. If I was wearing makeup, I would, I would of course first take off my makeup before I go in with the before I go in with the soap. take my time when I'm cleansing because you have to make sure that you're working with a clean surface Acid, but uh, usually I wait. Uh, I wait for my skin to dry because if you go in with this glycolic acid on a damp skin, it's going to burn. This is a very strong toner. It's not your typical toner. It's strong. It's. Uh, I would recommend you use this if you really have oily skin or you you have condition. This thing has really helped my skin a lot. Like. It has helped my skin. Like I, I've seen visible results that I wasn't that I wasn't able to see before when I wasn't using it because I was really afraid of using this product. Not really afraid, but I I wasn't using it uh, on a daily basis. So I would use it like thrice in a week. So I wasn't really incorporating it that a lot, but I started using it daily in the night. So every time I do not use my AHA and BHA solution because that's used, uh, I used to use that twice in a week but nowadays I cut down on the, on the, like I cut it down a bit so I use it only once in a week. So the rest of the days I go in with this every single night first but I would wait for my skin to dry till I feel like it's not damp at all and then I'll go in with this toner. It's good. It has helped my skin and like my skin feels soft. I do not have texture at all. My pores, like this area right here used to be really rough. Like it used to be rough, but now when I touch it, it's super soft. This thing is a miracle. If you have akin or if you suffer with the, um, if you're oily skin, 
if you're sensitive stay away from this but uh, it's quite a strong toner so I would recommend you start slow just like I did you start slowly use it like maybe thrice in a week until you gain the tolerance like until your skin gains the tolerance to take in all the acids so right now I can use it on a daily basis and I don't feel anything but like I said you have to use it on a dry skin so now my skin is dry I'm gonna go in with my cotton pad sure that it's distributed everywhere and then after I'll press it in now that's done so once that is done I would go in with my hyaluronic acid Remember, when you're using the glycolic toner, you shouldn't use the buffet because it, it they don't work well together. Buffet is a peptide, and peptides don't really work well with acids, direct acids. So when you use your toner, don't use with the buffet. That's why I don't use it together. So when I'm using this toner, I use I go in with my hyaluronic acid first. started using this Agil, what's it called? Agiline solution? I don't even know how they pronounce it, but I can't really tell if it works. But I've been using it around my on my forehead alone and my eyes because I had I read that it's a miracle for under eyes and the forehead. Like it's basically for fine lines and wrinkles. So it's always better to tame them before they come in. Yeah. So this is something I just started incorporating so I don't really have much to say about it. But I've been using it like this it's watery it's too liquidy i use it first and i'll go in with my hyaluronic acid a little bit goes a long way then i'll go in with my hyaluronic acid Really, my skin feels so good. Like, I don't remember having such beautiful skin. Only when I was still like a teenager, I used to have I used to have beautiful skin. I never really, I never used to break out. But I don't know what comes with age. Everything turns upside down. Anyways, once I'm done use going in with my hyaluronic acid, I like to use the buffet around my eyes because it's great for that area. This is a new bottle. I ran out of the other one. So I'll go in with just a few drops. This is something that I can't do without this buffet. I can't like every time i purchase this product i always stock i don't just buy one product because they run out I like they sell out really fast so once you go out to buy these products don't just buy one buy two so that once one is done you still have one to use because those products they sell out so I like to massage this buffet 
this thing has helped my eye area the buffet I've, I've, I've used the buffet and the EGCG from from day one like ever since I started using the ordinary product by the way if you haven't watched my ordinary skincare like my journey you would see like go out I'm gonna link that video so that you can go and check it out you're gonna see how my skin used to look like and then you'll see you know what I'm talking about right now there's a huge difference so that's done now I'll go in with niacinamide niacinamide 10% this is something I used to use this in the mornings, but now I use it only in the night so that I can use my vitamin C in the I use this in the night and then and then I use vitamin C in the morning because I can't use vitamin C and niacinamide in the same routine because they cancel each other out. The ordinary formulation formulation of vitamin C and uh, niacinamide. They don't really work well together but other companies really have no problem mixing niacinamide and vitamin c so just put that in mind when you're working with the ordinary do not use vitamin c and uh, niacinamide in the same routine this ordinary products really they are great but they but you have to pair them you have to learn how to pair them really well for you to get results you can't just use one or two products and expect yes they will work for you but you'll be missing some ingredients to get a better a much better skin you know what i mean so if you're using only one product and then at the end of the day you'll be like it didn't work out for me like can't use just one product these ordinary products are ingredient driven like there is just one ingredient or two in one single product so it can't really target every single thing that's going on in your skin so you need different products and for different routines so yeah my cinema done and then now i'll go in with my um rose hip seed oil so i use rose hip seed oil in the night this is a great oil it's very moisturizing and not uh, it does not block it's not heavy at all use a lot not heavy if you if you have oily skin you shouldn't be afraid of it i like to press it in i don't really use the moisturizer at night I don't I don't I don't think I need it in the night I only use it in the morning I only get to use the moisturizer in the night if I use the AHA and BHA because that thing leaves you really dry it leaves you dry so every time I use the AHA and BHA I finish off the whole routine with the natural moisturizing factors and the rose hip seed oil if you haven't watched my video of the AHA and BHA, go watch it and see how I use it plus what I use after the AHA and BHA. So I like to press this in, make sure it's in there, I don't rub it. I don't like rubbing it in, it feels good. Like, I feel like it absorbs better when pressed. As opposed to rubbing and then I also run my hands around my eyes because this oil is uh, this is actually a natural right now for those for, for, for those of you who prefer an organic is it organic or natural retinol or if you are new to retinols I've never used retinols but I say the ordinary thing is that this is a great way to start because this is natural, they say natural organic, something like that. They don't work the same, but it's rich in vitamin A, and vitamin A is retinol. Yeah. So 
so this marks the end of my skincare routine you've seen the morning you've seen the nighttime skincare routine the, and this is how my skin looks like my skin has gone through so much but there is a huge huge difference if you saw my um if you saw the before videos you'll know what i'm talking about anyway i'm feeling sleepy i don't know if you can tell that already but uh, i'm feeling sleepy so i'm gonna go on and sleep and uh, please subscribe like give me a like and comment down below um anything tell me anything um and yeah that's it thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next video please check out my other videos and this is me going to bed Bye-bye.